So this week we have been making snowflakes. Okay. Actually, we're working on different types of uh, symmetry and balance in artwork. In this case, it is radial symmetry or radial balance, um, all focusing on a central point here. Now, to help the students learn how to make these snowflakes, I've I've printed up these little worksheets that we use to make one snowflake. And you can certainly do this at home. Uh, the website uh, is uh, easy peasy and fun. Uh, www.easypeasyandfun, all one word. You can look it up and there are about 20 different uh, snowflake uh, templates that you can use. Uh, now this week I've been giving these out and the students they have to begin by cutting out this square because you, you start these six-sided snowflakes with a square. And makes it real easy to cut these. If you have big, long scissors like this, if not, they can just cut them, cut a square with smaller scissors. Measure it out. It has to be a square. And this template gives you where the folds are. So we're going to go ahead and fold this up. Notice there's a long diagonal fold or do, long diagonal line right there. And we're going to fold it on that, fold this in half and make it a triangle. One side of the triangle should have all the design on it. The other side should be blank. And they're going to fold it in half again. So we get the design on each side. Now these lines here are fold lines to divide it into a third. And when you're doing it yourself, you can measure this base of the triangle here and divide it into thirds and get where those lines should be uh, if you don't feel comfortable eyeballing it. I'll show you both ways to do that. But this we fold and it kind of, I tell them it looks kind of like a, a fox, okay? Um, and then you simply cut out all of these uh, lines that are on here. We're cutting the solid lines as opposed to the dotted lines. If we cut the dotted lines, we just end up with six little pieces. But this is going to make us a six-sided snowflake. I'm not going to cut it real exact, just for expediency's sake. And we'll cut a couple of these small little pieces here just to add a little more interest to our snowflake and then once you have it all cut out you open it up and have a beautiful snowflake so you can now pretend that you are Buddy the Elf and start decorating up your house with snowflakes. Now I'll show you how we do that on just a blank piece of paper with, without the, the guidelines. So we start off with a square piece of paper and fold it in half, making a triangle. Then we fold this in half again, making a smaller triangle. And at this point, you can go about it two ways. You can kind of eyeball it, and I do that by lightly folding. Notice I'm not pressing that down, and then I kind of fold this over, and then I kind of just work them back and forth until I get it divided evenly into thirds. Or if you want more precision, you can certainly do it using a ruler. Now this is nine inches across. I just happen to get lucky here. Nine inches across and we'll divide that into thirds. So we get six Three and six, three, six, and nine. That gives us uh, three equal points. And I know on the template it had two lines drawn. I'm just going to draw the one because that's really all we need. And we're going to take this edge of the triangle and fold it over so that it lines up with that part there, with that line there. And you want it to come to as close to a point down here on the bottom as possible. That's just going to make it more precise. Crease that down and then this side folds over. And 
goes down. It's not. I guess it's the width of the the width of the paper is affecting it, so it's not quite exact. There we go. Okay, kind of force it in. You know, putting a square peg in a round hole, and then <clears throat> you can either cut your snowflake out freehand. I like to go ahead and draw the shapes that I'm going to cut out just. That way I don't make any mistakes. If you put a little delta shape down there at the bottom, you're going to get a star in the middle. And then we'll put that. And there we go. So we got some shapes on there. And Cut that off. I always cut the top off because that changes it from a four-sided square. It cuts the corners off so that you get the uh, six sides more prominent. If you don't cut them off, then it's six-sided inside, but it still looks like it's a four-sided square on the outside. So that's why I always cut the corners. Not that I'm cutting corners, I just cut the corner. And we'll go ahead and cut these out. Can anybody tell what I'm going to be making with on this on this particular snowflake? Let's see how close you're paying attention. And then I'll get my little star down here. The kids always like that because you can unfold that little piece that I just cut out. And it makes a little teeny tiny one. Okay, so open this up. And did anybody guess that I was making a snowflake with with all the different suits from a deck of cards? Hearts and diamonds and clubs and spades. And so that is how we're doing our snowflakes. Make them at home. You can decorate your house like Buddy the Elf.